what Jenna doesn't realize is that I'm taking a video, so she's like, I better be stripping off. Oh, that's a national stone. Really, really hard work. <laughs> the first lap and a half was just so hot. The sun came out and it was just blazing down. Ooh. As you can probably tell by the pasty look on my face, ginger skin and the sun do not go together. So I just felt like I was a slug. Well, the sun was out and then the last half a lap or so the sun went in and it cooled right down kind of, kind of like what it's like now and I kind of got a second wind so that was good fun managed to hopefully get a few people towards the end not too many I don't think I think I got a small handful there's some people with some brilliant kicks there towards the end and I had very little left <laughs> But there's some great running all around. I spotted quite a few of the local guys. Sunland, 
there was a few um, saltwater lads and yeah it was good to see so many local people out running and there was uh, quite a few South Shield Harriers as well my local town so yeah some tremendous running no doubt by the time we see the results there'll be some really really good performances so I start towards the back today so got to the pen a bit late as per usual so I had no choice but to start from the back and uh, the first I'd probably say the first mile was just absolutely rammed you just couldn't get moved it was so difficult but uh, that was that had a bit of fun to be honest because it just meant that I had to be slower through the first half than I might have been if I start towards the front I might have just gone off like a crazy person and uh, pay the price for it later so maybe that was the saving grace to be a bit packed in and a bit of a sardine Today we had the luxury of watching the women's race It's not something that we often get to do just because usually the women's race starts before the men's so we're kind of doing warm up and preparing our kit before we make our way at the start so we don't always get to watch a lot of the women's race but today we had the women's race and then the under 20s race and then the men's race so it just meant that we could actually watch the women's race this time round it was a really good watch some absolutely great performances the woman who won today she was just absolutely flying we ran down the hill and we were watching probably with a mile maybe a mile and a half to go and they were neck and neck and Jess Judd was in third about probably five or six seconds back and we're giving them loads of encouragement and then and we made our way up at the finish and the first lady come around the corner and she had quite a big lead so I'm guessing she must have done some damage on the final downhill and just broke away but yeah I think she ended up winning quite convincingly maybe 8 to 12 seconds or so and then second place and then third was quite a way back closely followed by fourth fifth and then sixth there was all, there was probably 10 seconds between those four people so Jess Stewart managed to hang on to third we weren't sure if she was going to get caught right towards the end but she had more than enough in her legs to get through it so yeah it was great racing excellent to watch and then of course we had to dash back to the tent start to get ready and make our way out for a warm-up and then to the start i'm hoping and praying that the girls have brought some cakes or some quiche or just anything a nice bottle of water and something sweet and then we'll see what see what we can find on the way home kind of in the middle of Yorkshire somewhere so it's all country roads and there's no, no KFC's or McDonald's or <laughs> anything where we can easily stop off I don't think but even if we can see a petrol station just go and get a, a pasty, a sausage roll, a sandwich, a big bar galaxy, anything <laughs> I had an easy week this week but I'm terrible for, for feeling really leggy and a bit rubbish when I've had an easy week and that's exactly what happened today unfortunately Have you ever been working towards a race and you're thinking I'm happy with the shape I'm in I'm feeling good going into the race I've got some targets and I think the more than achievable I'm just going to have the race of my life I'm going to smash it and then the reality of the matter is you turn up to the race you feel good then about a mile in you're thinking oh, I'm feeling quite tired legs are heavy I'm sweating unbelievable amounts I've worked far too hard here yeah that was pretty much my race on Saturday at the Nationals so I went in thinking I've been running really well at track I've been doing well on my tempos if it's, as long as I start sensibly I should be able to run quite well here and hopefully finish in the top 25% the weather on its own was, was difficult to negotiate so it was forecast to be quite warm which is nice you think oh excellent shorts and t-shirt weather we can relax and watch a women race do a bit of a warm up and then be nice and warm for the race well the sun was high in the sky blazing down it was boiling hot and when you've got ginger skin like me that's just not a recipe for anything other than disaster unfortunately all in all 
disappointed with my performance but had a great day out with the team had a right laugh a couple of the girls made some delicious brownies and i think i quite possibly ate a bag of sugar effectively by the amount of brownies that i was polishing off afterwards but all in all yeah it was an excellent day and i definitely recommend it if you haven't done cross country honestly you've got to get out you've got to try just try your local one first and then you can build onto the the sort of northerns or whichever area you're from and then the nationals because if nothing else just go and enjoy the day you don't have to try and kill yourself in the races or anything like that just go and enjoy it it's such an epic day so what's on the agenda next it'll be the final regional cross-country race on saturday the northeast harrier league to finish the season i think i'm in 25th place overall in the individual standings and that's not saying i'm 25th fastest because i'm not <laughs> that's just i think it's just based on points over the season basically if you've done every sort of race you get so many points per race based on where you finish and I, i've been fairly consistent in, in where i've been finishing in, in sort of the top um i'd say between top 10 and 20 percent so that just means by being consistent and turned up i've obviously been scoring fairly well so i'm 25th so it'll be nice that would be really nice to finish the season even if i just maintain 25th i'll be over the moon with that i've really enjoyed it this year and look forward to doing them in, in future years as well and now that i'm in the fast pack it's a totally different experience so that that's been new this year there's loads of positives to take from it and hopefully i can carry forward my fitness um into the manchester marathon because i've got six weeks to go now just need to get a few marathon tempos in and and just make sure I'm nice and comfortable at that pace but everything's seeming to come together at the moment so I've got a couple of long runs planned with Ali Ali's building towards Boston so if I can do my long runs with Ali and, and be in control then I'm over the moon with that because Ali's ran 229 just running with Ali and discussing tactics and and being anywhere near her basically on the track or on the long runs is it's just great for me and, and trying to progress my times so i've got track tomorrow with ali and yeah really looking forward to it but i'll see you guys in the next one